And with me, I have a very gorgeous, gorgeous lady with me here. Uh, she is a wellness trainer. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for Arizona. having me. I'm so happy to be here. I wish I came in earlier for me to get the workout session. There's no problem. Awesome. <laughs> we've, we've decided we're going to do this again so we can oh, always wow. have you again That's and again. Awesome. I'm happy to see the positive energy and the fact that we start off with wellness. Yes. Yeah. Aside, this is a side note. A side note. I am yeah. actually a fan from uh, a series. Oh, Kina. Yeah, yes. Thank I'm you. such a fan. I saw you and I was like, oh, that is so sweet. You know what I realized? Like when I, uh, I, shot a few episodes on Kina and the thing is the show is such a big show. It There's is. some places where I've gone and someone would actually ask me. I, I still get messages where people are asking me like Ulienda wa. Yes. Yeah, and I also wanted to ask Ulienda. People are even catching feelings. You just disappeared. <laughs> you literally just disappeared. It's crazy though. But it's interesting to see that people are really um, embracing. embracing Kenyan yeah. TV and TV series and it's such a good thing to see so I'm happy. It is. I'm happy I always that. say here on my show, everyone knows, everyone who watches this show knows yeah. I am I am a loyal fan Aww. of Kenyan content. I don't even That's call it local awesome. con content. Yeah. It's Kenyan content. Yeah. Yeah. It's not local. Yeah. It's and Kenyan they put content. In a lot, a of, lot work. of work. If people would see how they shoot Kina and how those actors yeah. are always like. And the production, everybody does such a really good job. Recently, so. this is totally off topic. I'm yeah. so sorry. I'm so, so <laughs> sorry okay. you're getting into the conversation. Yeah. But this is totally off topic. But last week, uh, as I was somewhere sitting, mm, mm. Uh, I normally, as I am doing my day to day runs, like maybe I'm at the spa doing something, yeah. you know, you're just there. So I, that's when I catch up on my series. And the person who was nice. working on me was asking, Una watch Nini? Mm. So I tell them I'm watching Kina. Yeah. Um, um, I am back to back with them. So right now we are on season four, episode one forty. I think one forty eight. Yes, something. So yeah. tell them on season four, episode one forty eight, and they looked at me. It's as if they've seen a ghost. <laughs> they're shocked. Season You're four. You're up on it. But the and then thing they're like, is, e every episode, ha every season has how many episodes? I'm like two hundred, two hundred and ten. Yeah. And you've watched all of them. Yes. yes. Because the storyline is interesting. It's and very also, beautiful. When you think about it, we've invested so much on uh, in uh, TV from other countries like yeah. we've watched um nollywood we've watched bollywood we've watched um american tv yeah. series and we are up on it we know the characters we know their exactly. real names and their lives why would you invest in other people if you can't invest At in your home. own yeah you really have to do that and i have to add everyone on the set works extremely hard Enough. that's why you invested because it shows they're yeah. really doing a good i job. cannot miss an episode yeah. so personally i am a, Yay, I'm a huge fan that's awesome so let's get back to why we're here yes. thank you so much thank you so much so maybe take us through who is fatma yep well my name is fatma and i'm the founder of wellness ke so wellness ke is a platform i started um after having uh, health complications myself. Mm -hmm. So I suffered from fibroids for many years, about 10, almost 15 years. But then the worst thing happened was I was diagnosed with deep vein thrombosis, which is a blood clot in the leg. Yeah. So this happened because of the fibroids and I did not know why. Um, so it's something that has been happening to women, but they have no idea. So because of that, uh, I tried to find the right information. I tried to find out what I would do to support my health, but I really couldn't find much. And so I decided to just start my own platform. The mm -hmm. moment I had my surgery and the moment I healed from the thrombosis, which was such a big scare, but then I thank God that I healed, yeah. I decided that it was important for me to share that type of information and also the things that supported my health naturally throughout the process. And I'm happy to say on the platform, we have been able to have women who have healed from fibroids through our natural products, women who have been able to heal from our cysts, PCOS, women who have been told for years they would never be able to get pregnant, mm -hmm. but they've gotten pregnant in their late 30s, early 40s. Yeah. And that's because one thing that's very important is having the right information. Mm -hmm. When you know, it's it's like they say, when you know, you know. When you have the right information, yeah. then you make better decisions and choices when it comes to your health and your well-being. Mm -hmm. So Wellness KE is all about that and it's definitely a passion project for mm -hmm. me. Yeah. So this far, this yeah. far, maybe tell us what now, what is wellness? Well, wellness, I would say, um, is the active um, pursuit of being better. Mm -hmm. Because I know some people, when they think of wellness, they think of um, a spa, they think of yoga, they think of all these yeah. things make up wellness. Mm -hmm. But you as a human being, if you wake up in the morning and you make a choice every single day to better yourself, whether it should be your physical well-being, meaning your nutrition, your fitness, even kicking bad habits like sleeping early or 
quit when you quit alcohol or smoking these are all things that are going to affect your physical wellness also if you work towards your emotional wellness meaning you know you cut off ties with people who are negative or people who are just draining you because this um, ends up affecting your health and your well-being. So mm -hmm. that's your emotional wellness. You also have your environmental wellness. If you work towards taking care of your environment and where you live, taking care of the food that you eat and making sure that you're contributing to that, then you're working towards your wellness. Mm -hmm. And wellness has different dimensions. You can have your physical, your emotional, your uh, environmental. Your spiritual wellness is also really important. If you wake up first thing in the morning, you have a connection with it's God. Gorgeous. You think of um, th there's a bigger purpose. You're not the only one that exists on this in this world. Mm -hmm. You're not the only one that deserves everything. You think of someone else that will deserve, and you put in your time to actually help someone else. Mm -hmm. That's still an act of wellness. And yeah. I think there's a big misconception when it comes to wellness because the wellness industry is a lucrative industry but mm -hmm. at the same time people are not really giving the right information and it's not their fault it's because they want the message to be clear so they'll come here and sell to you something or they'll tell you you know try and do ABCD but you as a human being if you work on all dimensions of wellness you are in that state of wellness you're guaranteed yeah, to most definitely so wellness is just basically everything to make yourself a better person yes and that constant pursuit because nobody is perfect you mm -hmm. never wake yeah. up and be like oh my fitness is perfect my nutrition is perfect. there's always going to be something mm -hmm. that you have to fix but the fact that you're aware that's how you know you're in that state of wellness because you remind yourself every day I should wake up early maybe and put in some time to pray I should wake up early so that I can have you know a few minutes of a workout as the trainer said it mm -hmm. needs to be consistency I should wake up and maybe journal and talk about my feelings I should wake up and prepare something healthy for myself yeah. so that I can feed my body something that's nutritious and and that nourishes my body I should also do good things because that's going to nourish my soul mm -hmm. when you think of it in that way then there's no way you're, you're actually going to have any issues in life because you're taking care of yourself physically you're taking care of yourself emotionally everyone around you is good because mm -hmm. you're not just thinking about yourself you also think about others yeah and that that actually is something that if every single person tried to do that mm -hmm. then I really believe that everyone would actually be in that state in of that wellness state, yes. yeah yeah so there's different state uh, um, variations yes of yes there's the physical aspects yes. there's, there's the, the emotional, emotional there's, yes uh -huh. um, there's the spiritual yeah and then uh, there's the environmental mm -hmm. there's also occupational which is important mm -hmm. occupational wellness is basically whereby um, you think about what you're going to do for yeah. the rest of your life you know because some people really suffer from this yeah. they're fit they're healthy they, they they take care of themselves mentally but they hate what they do when you wake up in the morning on a monday if you dread going to work if you dread the environment if you dread the people that are there mm -hmm. your bosses or even your business yeah. whatever it is it it's actually going to affect your health because that's your occupational wellness that's what you do and when you think about it as human beings we spend a large part of our lives either in school or at work. school yeah so yeah. you have to when you think of it in that way that means a large part of your life is spent either you know in the presence of either your classmates mm -hmm. or your workmates mm -hmm. so if you don't like what you do then a large part of your life is going it's to it's, it's really yeah it's going to affect you mm -hmm. so because of that um, I always encourage people to think of all the dimensions of wellness and see how is it that you're trying to balance that how is it that you're trying to um, be lead a positive life mm -hmm. in whatever dimension and because of that you find whenever you you start doing that you find yourself now achieving that state of wellness yeah mm -hmm. uh, let's start from the beginning let's yeah take us through what mental wellness is and what is needed for you to maintain uh, mental wellness yeah. and then physical yeah you th there was yeah there's mental, physical physical yeah spiritual. let's start with the easiest one yeah, which yes. is physical you know why mm -hmm. because a lot of people when they think of health and wellness mm -hmm. that's the first thing they think of yeah. they think of fitness they think of eating you know salads and eating healthy um so that's part of physical wellness a small aspect of it mm -hmm. but also as i mentioned anything that's going to affect your physical state of being whether it's going to even be hygiene that still affects your physical well-being well yeah. uh, whether it's going to be your nutrition and something that's important to mention is that your nutrition actually plays an 80% role. So when it comes to um, uh, your health and your well-being, 
think of it as a pie chart. If it was a pie chart, imagine 80% of that pie chart being nutrition. So in order for you to be healthy and in a state of wellness, 80% yes is actually going to affect you. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is that what you put into your body actually now, because um, your body has different organs and yeah. each organ has different functions. Yes. In order for them to function, you have to nourish them. So this is why I, I don't advocate for strict diets and things like that, because you're actually going to miss out on certain foods that actually nourish. There's a reason why these foods, you know, Exists. are put, yes, so that you can be able to actually nourish your body. Mm -hmm. So diet and nutrition is really important. Involving some physical activity. If you're not the type of person that's going to go out to the gym and work out or invest in a trainer, mm -hmm. then you can actually go on YouTube and you'll find videos, workouts that you can you can start mm -hmm. from home. Mm -hmm. If you don't want that, then you can actually involve some physical activity as part of your day. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'll start off with a walk or you decide I'm not going to take the lift, I'm going to take the stairs. Whatever you're going to do, as long as your body, you have some level of physical activity. Mm -hmm. um, because our lifestyle right now, especially in urban areas, does not advocate for that yeah. we are always seated and we are always working you know while seated yeah. and we don't get to move our bodies around and that's one of the reasons and then if we get to uh, emotional wellness this is your mental well-being yeah so so many people will actually tell you um, that they end up having poor relationships be it work relationships mm -hmm. uh, be it um, their love life yeah. their marriage mm -hmm. um, their family relationships all these things actually affect your health and your mental well-being mm -hmm. this is because um, your thoughts become you if you think negatively there's no way you're actually going to lead a happy life a good life mm -hmm. it's going to affect you um, even in Generally, success wise yeah. yeah because if you have a, an environment that doesn't support for you to just think about yourself, your future, growth. If you don't have that, then you, how are you going to be motivated? How are you sure. going to actually have that, you know, feeling that y you want to achieve? And there is, um, I, I'm, I'm sure so many people have heard of this book called The Secret. I always say it's not a secret anymore. The secret is actually out. If you think positive, your life will be positive. If you surround yourself with positive people, your life will be a better life. If you make positive changes in your life, you have to cut ties with people that are negative, people that put you down, people that don't want you to succeed, yeah. people that continuously put you in that state of um, of negativity. You have to cut them off mm -hmm. because it's if you don't rule do of that, what you think you attract. Yes, everything, and mm -hmm. it is so so true. And I keep insisting on this because I have tried it. It has worked for me. And I've seen it work for so many people. Yeah. There's no way we can actually look at other people who live a better life and go, oh no, they live a better life because they're different from us. No, we are all the same. And for that reason, we should all try and strive to actually live a better life. Be positive towards yeah, everything. Yeah, towards everything that you do. Mm -hmm. And also when it comes to your um, occupational well-being, this is a tough one for so many people because uh, people go through either school or they go to uni and then after that they're sure this is what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Are you doing it because this is what you love? You know, if you were, you're supposed to ask yourself this question, if no one was going to pay you, mm -hmm. would you still do it? Yeah. If your answer is yes, then do it. You're in the right path. Yeah, mm -hmm. because if you would say, no, I'm probably, no, then it's you're not passionate about it. Mm -hmm. And for me, I've worked for so many years um, in TV and in media, but then I, I knew that's what I love. I love TV, I love acting, but at the same time, I knew I have a calling. And for me, it's health and well-being. Mm -hmm. I love taking care of people. I love advocating for health and wellness. And I always ask myself, even if I just I woke up today and nobody wanted to listen, would I still talk about it? And I say yes, yes because that's what sets my heart on fire. Mm -hmm. So because of that, I know I'm on the right path. And whenever you are in your divine, you're walking in your divine, because it means that you're doing what you're meant to do, mm -hmm. everything falls into place. Everything. You won't even have to lift a finger because that's why God created you. Now you're walking in your purpose and everything happens easily for you. And so everyone needs to try and do that. Mm -hmm. Ask yourself what's that thing that makes you feel like you want to wake up and you want to do it. It mm -hmm. excites you. Nothing in the world will stop you. If that thing, you found what it is, start doing it today. It doesn't matter. Even if you don't have the money. Just start. Just start. Mm -hmm. And they say... The issue is actually not capital. People worry about capital and about the money. The issue is not that. It's yeah. the ideas. 
if you have an idea, mm -hmm. you can make it in life. Actualize it. You actualize it, yeah. manifest, surround yourself with the right people, read the right books, watch the right type of content. Don't spend hours on social media doing nothing. Use that time to actually improve yourself because at the end of the day, you will start seeing progress and that's what you want in yeah. your life. You yeah. want progress. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now moving forward, let's get into spiritual wellness. Yeah. Spiritual wellness is more about um, you being, realizing that there is a bigger force and energy than mm -hmm. you. Um, and I say that because I know spiritual wellness takes us to a place of humility. Yeah. Um, and I'll share a short story. I actually went to Masai Mara a while back. Mm -hmm. And one time we did something called a night safari, where mm -hmm. it's the same as a safari during the day, but we did it in the night. And it was really exciting because we were trying to follow this leopard. And it, a leopard is actually one of the rarest things to see in Masai Mara. Yeah. You can see lions everywhere, but leopards are the ones that are hard to find. So because of that, they wanted us to go and see it. And so we, we actually did the night safari. And while we were there, I remember it was such, it started raining. And you know, there are no lights. Like what we have in the studio, it's dark. And it's all that God has created. And we're seated in that van. And then the leopard was actually up there in the tree feeding, you know, the, the baby leopard, I don't know what you call it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then there were lions that started coming. Yeah. yeah. The lions that started coming. It, it was such a sight to see. And mm -hmm. when I was seated there, it was at night. I remember I looked up in the sky and I realized everything that I've ever been worried about, it doesn't matter. Because I realized there's another life, there's mm -hmm. another world out there that exists. If you're worried about your life, if you're worried about money, if you're worried about your rent, if you're worried about your purpose, your relationship, all these things, it's because you're looking at your life from that point where you are right now. Mm -hmm. If you look at the bigger picture, you realize the world will still go on, mm -hmm. uh, life still moves on, yeah. you just have to pick yourself up. It's okay, you can give yourself a day, cry about it, feel bad, but then always have a plan. And that's part of spiritual wellness, whereby you're not just thinking about, oh, life sucks, it's me or me. You, you actually think of it from a place of, of um, view it as there are other things that are bigger than me. Yeah. There's a bigger purpose than me. And what is it that I'm, I'm doing that's actually going to make someone else's life better? Mm -hmm. What am I doing? Because if I expect every day for my life to be better, for God to keep giving me, I need to ask myself, what have I ever done for someone else? Mm -hmm. Have I tried to help them? Have I tried to listen? Have I tried to talk to someone? Have I tried to help financially? Or have I tried to be there for someone? If that is the case, then that means you are spiritually awakened in mm -hmm. that way mm -hmm. because you realize that it stops just being about you. The world will revolve whether you're here or, or not. you're not. Yeah, and that's, sure. I feel like people haven't realized that, m most people, because they live in that state of, oh, life sucks. and. This is Things bad. Things don't work out for me. Uh, because Things what's become, what's become, what yeah. you, if you keep saying it, that's what's going to happen. Even when good things happen, you'll never see it. You'll never see it as something good that has happened. Mm -hmm. But if you start viewing things as opportunities, as growth, as positivity, then everything else is actually going to um, happen for you. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people haven't realized when they're going through what we call a spiritual awakening. That's usually where your life becomes really, really tough. You go through low moments. That's usually where you start feeling isolated. And it's crazy when you think about it. If we have, um, if we have so many people in the world and you can still feel alone, that's when you know there's something wrong because mm -hmm. there are people out there. But why is it that you can't connect with them? It's because deep down within you, your soul doesn't feel like you belong mm -hmm. or it doesn't feel like you, it, it, it almost, your soul is almost telling you there's something bigger that we are supposed to do, but what is it? And um, it actually, spiritual wellness actually goes deeper. You find that some people even wake up in the middle of the night and they're restless and they're not able to fall asleep because there's something that keeps telling them they need to pursue something and if you find that you're going through this moment or this phase in your life stick through because the moment you get to the end you'll be walking in your divine power i promise you because all of us have been through it personally i have been through that point where i'm I, I fall asleep but then i wake up and i'm restless and i feel like there's something there's something inside me that makes me feel like this isn't it Th yeah. there's more to life than this and when you are in that state you need to just stick through and keep talking to God and ask him, like, what is it that you want from me that I should do? It stops being about me. Do you want me to do something for others? Do you want me to be there for someone else? Show me and guide me. And the moment you start, you get to that place, 
everything else becomes easy and i feel like every human being goes through that point. so you have to you have to wait until you get the spiritual awakening or you can start finding you can start as yes you can start because if you ask yourself the question um, do i feel fulfilled when yeah. the day ends are mm -hmm. you happy about what you've done during the day mm -hmm. if you are then you're happy your life is good yeah and we wonder why some people have everything in the world but they still say they're unhappy it's because your soul is who you are and mm -hmm. this is the crazy thing that i discovered while i was just by myself i told myself yes i'm fat ma but people actually see me physically they see my body but it's my soul that's fat ma the body just covers the soul mm -hmm. so when i think of it in that way i have to keep nourishing my soul as opposed to focusing on just the physical appearance because if you keep focusing on that that's when you 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 bring in negativity that's when when someone say something negative about you your appearance your body whatever then you take it in because you have actually based your entire life on just the physical what mm -hmm. about your soul are you happy because yeah. if you're happy with who you are you're really never ever going to care what somebody says mm -hmm. it's really not going to matter if you're happy with who you are it won't matter what people uh what this um what people discuss about your life mm -hmm. and the choices you've made because yeah. really your soul is happy so there's nothing else there's nothing better else than that, that. that yeah let's let's move back to now the mental wellness yeah. and physical wellness yeah, yeah. where do you start as an individual maybe you think you're doing it but you're not sure you're doing it right okay. where do, what is the starting point towards would, walking through that journey okay i would say the first thing to do is to find out why you want to do it yeah. because your why is the reason why you actually want to it's the it's the thing that's going to motivate you to do it mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. i know a lot of times um i ask women on the wellness gay platform what is the thing that's stopping you from you know achieving wellness or just starting your journey and most of them said it's because of motivation and i was like okay so how do you stay motivated mm -hmm. and the thing is that when you surround yourself with things that actually motivate you to start for instance it could even be a picture maybe you want to start your fitness journey and you have a picture of yourself maybe from last year and you think this was when i was my healthiest i felt i felt my best then you actually have that and you visualize what it is that you want mm -hmm. that's going to motivate you um and secondly an important thing that i want to mention is that motivation isn't the only thing you're going to need in order for you to achieve health and wellness what you need is discipline, discipline. yeah because if you if you start off with motivation it gives you that boost you know it's mm -hmm. like how you guys just did the workout you have that motivation now you're like i would do this again and i loved it and it felt really good um but then even when the trainer is not there even when no one would is looking would you this? still do it yeah. that doesn't call for motivation that calls for discipline yeah. and people don't necessarily want to reach deep and dig for discipline you know why because discipline calls for you to be uncomfortable discipline can actually bring you resistance in your mind because you're thinking i i have to get up then get my fitness clothes then my shoes and then what do i have to do i have to run or go to the rooftop and work out or do i have to you start thinking about how you don't want to do it before you even think about what you want yeah. and majority of the times people stop because of discipline and it's not necessarily because of motivation you can get motivation from anywhere. anywhere you can be on social media and actually be motivated mm -hmm. so i would say the first thing visualize it and then the second thing just achieve that discipline by making sure that you set goals so you can have a daily goal for instance if it comes when it comes to your nutrition you can say instead of me saying i'm going healthy and i'm throwing everything out of my fridge you can just start by saying i'm going to add more vegetables onto my plate yeah. or i'm going to start drinking more water every day that's a realistic goal because within a week it becomes a habit Habits. then now you can carry on to the next week and add something else mm -hmm. it's more realistic for you to do a that a step at a time yes because it doesn't shock your system because your brain doesn't like change that's what people haven't realized the brain does not like things that are different because your mm -hmm. brain gets very comfortable yeah. it likes the things that make it comfortable so if you wake up uh, if you were supposed to wake up at 5 but then you choose to wake up at 7 because you snooze the alarm your brain likes that because we're in a state of comfort but in order for you to achieve things the, the truth is that we only have 24 hours in a day the mm -hmm. people who achieve it's because they wake up earlier than everybody else and to to do that takes discipline you actually have to get to a place where you're like no nope, i'm going to have to get up and do my workout and prepare something healthy mm -hmm. and then start my day and so you actually have to fight that resistance in your mind um 
just to make sure that you maintain that discipline. And also, even as you keep on doing that, you should also reward yourself. Because if you've achieved even the tiniest bit, uh, you have to commend yourself and remind yourself. This is something we've done and we have achieved. Um, I know that for me, what I did the past month, because I was working, 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 I decided to give myself a month mm -hmm. to rest and to go on vacation. So I went back home in Mombasa and I had a really good time with my family. And that was a month and I said, during this month, I'm not going to drive myself crazy. I'm not going to do anything. And to be honest, it had to take discipline for me to not go back and do the things I'm used to. Because I knew that the moment that month is over, when I come back, I'm back on, you know, go, yeah, go, no go, 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 yes. Yeah. And so I had to force myself. Mm -hmm. We are all human and nobody is perfect. Mm -hmm. But we just have to keep reminding ourselves why we want the best for ourselves. Yeah. And also just the fact that majority of the things that we want in life, especially when it comes to our health and our well-being, mm -hmm. they benefit our future self, yes. not our present self. Yeah, that's so you might, you might be like, oh, why should I work out? I mean, it, the change is not immediate. Mm -hmm. If it was immediate, we would all do it. But yeah. because it's not immediate, we are bound to actually not go further and do something about it. But just remember always to do something today that your future self is going to thank you for, mm -hmm. whatever mm -hmm. it's going to be, whether you will invest in a online course so that tomorrow you can You're do a better something person, yes have a new whatever skill. it is just do it and think of how your future is going to be and visualize it yeah, yeah. then it's actually going to come to fruition mm -hmm. yeah i've also seen on your page you yeah. also have a forum for women who have yes. fibroids yes i have a forum and i always talk i bring along doctors gynecologists yeah. mm -hmm. um and i bring them on board because i want for them to actually share um, more about how women can be able to take care of their reproductive health. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to fibroids, it's a it's a personal thing for me because that's what I went through for many years. And also, I was lied to by so many people, including people in the wellness industry and certain doctors, because they, they would always tell me things that are not true. Now that I have the information, mm -hmm. someone even told me, like, I need to stop eating avocados. I need to, you know, it was just just information that was not true a lot of a things. lot of things yeah. and unfortunately it did not help me but then i now have the right information and i'm glad that i have doctors who can come on board and mm -hmm. also share yeah. you know more information so with these health talks we normally hold them uh their webinars we hold them online mm -hmm. and um so for for the people who are watching you can be able to go to wellness ke and you can just send me a message when we have our next one we actually send you a link and you are invited to join in on the conversation. So free? It, yes, it's free. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to actually, it's not just about fibroids. We've had webinars on PCOS, cysts. Uh, we've had uh, webinars on uh, infertility. Uh, we're planning to have more on products that actually have chemicals in them that are affecting our health and our hormone health so that women can be able to know how to take care of themselves. So. Our, our platform in itself focuses on reproductive health, mm -hmm. but reproductive health doesn't just mean only fertility and stuff. It also yeah. goes beyond. It's also what your you thyroid, assume, what and, you yes, yourself. your nutrition, mm -hmm. breast cancer, all of them. We really want to focus on that because we realize there's a lot of misinformation and mm -hmm. women don't necessarily know what to do. Yes. So we're there as the middle person uh, to connect you to the right information and, and also the products. Right people. Like yeah, what I have here. Yes, products, yes, yes. And the products that we have are actually natural products. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, this one is green tea. Uh, and green tea is something that if you even go online and check, green tea is a product that actually uh, is very beneficial in healing um, um, issues to do with growths and tumors it actually suppresses the growth of uh growths or tumors and also green tea is actually currently helping so many women on our platform to heal from fibroids to uh reduce blood sugar levels those who are suffering from high blood sugar levels uh, our most recent testimonial is from a lady who had diabetes who has diabetes and she was at about 30 something point her, her, her blood sugar level was so high she was actually admitted and she started off on the green tea um, and now it's at four point something and she's way better. She actually mm -hmm. gave me a call from the doctor's office because the doctor was like, what are you using and what are you doing? And the thing is that with the natural products, I advocate for them because when you start off with a natural product, you know that you're doing something to support your health and your well-being. Mm -hmm. And it goes further than just your fertility. Um, it also makes sure that you have um, 
healthy blood sugar levels, which is the reason why so many people are actually unwell today. Most people don't have the time or don't make the effort to go to the hospital and check their blood sugar yeah. levels. And so a lot of people don't know that, some people don't even know that they have diabetes. Yeah. And during COVID actually era is where so many people died because they had no idea that they had diabetes, which was like a silent killer. Yeah. And also other than that, we're also focusing on hormone health because your hormones uh, support your entire body. Your hormones actually lead to how your thyroid functions if you get regular menstrual cycle or heavy cycle or painful cycle or you don't get your cycle at all or you suffer from fertility issues and this goes further it's not just for women of course my platform focuses on women but the products are also used by men and they are able to help them with their health and their nutrition mm -hmm. so I always advocate for natural ways to take care of yourself because it's incremental you you do it today you use the product every single day it helps you to detox, it helps you to uh, balance blood, blood sugar levels, it helps you to also take care of your hormone health, mm -hmm. which affects your entire body, um, and also gives you the ability to maintain a healthy weight. Uh, you don't necessarily have to think of health as I'm, I'm supposed to lose all the weight, because everyone has to know what's a healthy weight for them, as by your height and your weight. So if you check your height and your weight, you calculate something known as your BMI, which mm -hmm. is your body mass index, yeah. right? So with your BMI, it will tell you whether you are overweight or underweight. underweight. And so that's how you know that you're healthy. So I don't just advocate for lose weight. I also tell people if you have to gain weight so that you can be healthy, then you have to do the right things. Mm -hmm. And so we have products that support all that. Mm -hmm. And we also have the information and we also guide uh, all everyone else on how to use them. We have videos on YouTube that guide you on how to use these products so that you can be able to start your day right and take care of yourself mm -hmm. yeah you have several products on yes the table right now. maybe take us through some products. of them yes yeah, yeah, yeah. yes so this one is green tea mm -hmm. and green tea for anyone who's online they can google and find out it's the holy grail of healthy living mm -hmm. it actually helps in so many ways from fibroids to even cancer to diabetes and all that and it's actually something that's natural you can take it as a tea and you can also take it as a smoothie normally what i do i make the tea i let it cool then i put it in a blender with a fruit like um a uh, mango and I add a cucumber a vegetable and then I blend and I take that as a green tea smoothie especially after my workout it helps me to boost my metabolism and things like that and I have to say as I go, got older I'm 36 right now as I get older your metabolism actually slows down so you have to actually boost your metabolism so that you can be healthy so that's why I advocate for it mm -hmm. and then we also have turmeric tea this one is so good when it comes to inflammation so the thing is that inflammation is something that happens in your body that actually leads to disease yes yeah. so when it comes to inflammation you might find some people suffer from um, issues like fibroids or PCOS or even fertility issues joint pain uh, weight gain all these are caused by inflammation mm -hmm. in turmeric I didn't know there was turmeric tea yeah I'm just finding it's actually out. one of the best mm -hmm. and this is the I have I have so many testimonials from women who have started taking our products and before they had really painful periods they had really heavy periods they had um, horrible PMS symptoms like mood swings and vomiting and nausea and all that and now they are actually very okay mm -hmm. and that's something that I thank God for every day I thank God for the fact that our products are helping women every single day to take care of their health and as I mentioned it's not just for women also men can be able to use the products yeah. and aside from the green tea and turmeric tea we also have neem tea because neem is actually highly beneficial in Kiswahili it's called morbaini and it's for a reason it's because it cures over 40 diseases over 40 diseases and it's supposed to actually take care of you naturally every single day and using it can help you in balancing your blood sugar levels uh, maintaining a healthy weight um, detoxing your body and that's very important mm -hmm. we also have of course moringa which is loaded with vitamins and yeah. nutrients and nutritional value it's called nature's multivitamin for a reason because it has over 90 uh, vitamins that are loaded in it and moringa can actually help you in so many ways people haven't realized that these are just natural products that can actually help you and support your health 
And of course, we're not saying you stop listening to your doctor. You listen to your doctor, you tell your doctor that you'd like to introduce something new so that they can advise you. On to, how to go about yes, it. Yes, exactly. Which is why, as I, as, I, as I was telling you, uh, one of our clients, the one who has diabetes, she actually called from the doctor's office because the doctor was actually impressed and wanted to know what is what it is that you're, you're doing. doing. Yeah, And that's a good thing because then she's working together with the doctor yeah. to try and make sure that she maintains a healthy life, Lifestyle. right? So um, the Moringa tea is actually also very, very good and helping so many people. We have a video on it, a smoothie. We also have the Moringa tea the recipes that we help our clients with so that whenever they start off, they know how to begin mm -hmm. and how to continue on. Um, and also we've introduced cinnamon tea. Um, and it's not just uh, the normal everyday cinnamon, the powder, but it's the, the, the real actual cinnamon, the bags, because we saw that it was helping so many women who have PCOS. So PCOS is a condition whereby um, women actually develop cysts in the ovaries, and unfortunately, it causes serious weight gain. It also, also causes fertility issues. So women struggle with fertility issues. That's why we're having women who are young, but struggling with their fertility. So, and the main reason why they have PCOS is because of high blood sugar levels and high testosterone levels, yeah. these two hormones. So we found out that cinnamon actually really helps in lowering them to a healthy level. And so, um, so far, so many women have given us good reviews mm -hmm. and it's something that we advocate for. And also healthy fats like organic seeds. We have sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds, and, and um, sunflower seeds, uh, chia seeds. All these are ways for you to add healthy fats onto your diet. Because actually your body needs fat in order for it to produce hormones. Mm -hmm. If you don't have fats in your body, your body is not able to produce hormones and to produce them in the right amounts. So you need healthy fats, not junk food, none of that, but healthy, healthy fats, fats, yes, which are now your organic seeds. Like for instance, the chia seeds, uh, the pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds, all these actually contain um, omega-3 fatty acids, omega-6 fatty acids, mm -hmm. and the omega-3 fatty acids, they are called essential fatty acids for a reason. It's because your body doesn't make them. You need to give your body these uh, fatty acids. Mm -hmm. So that's why they are called essential because you need to actually give your body that for those, those fatty acids. So you need to actually make a point to add them to your diet every day. Whether you put them in your uji, in your oats, whatever, make sure that you have some healthy fats in mm -hmm. your diet. Yeah. The men are wondering. Yeah how exactly can they benefit from this product okay well the first thing is um heart health mm -hmm. i have to say that so many people have not realized how their uh, cholesterol levels affects their well-being um the type of diet that they have especially with men because they it's not easy for them to go to the hospital to do a checkup mm -hmm. just a random checkup they never ever do it yeah. majority of them mm -hmm. so most of them don't even know it when they don't know about their cholesterol levels their cardiovascular health their heart health and so these products are actually going to help you in maintaining um, a healthy heart which is one of the most important muscles in your body yes. your heart is actually the most important so these products are actually targeted at that because they they actually um, bring out the good cholesterol they increase mm -hmm. your good cholesterol and lower your bad cholesterol so that's very important and also blood sugar blood sugar levels are actually the reason why so many people are unwell and why so many people are not with us today because your high blood sugar levels lead to diabetes leads to other complications of your health, leads to obesity and weight gain, weight and um, um, weight around your waist circumference and your tummy mm -hmm. and all that. So balancing your blood sugar level is actually going to be very beneficial mm -hmm. when it comes to your health. So those two are the major ones. And of course, suppressing any cancer cells, any tumor cells, Prostate health is also really important yeah. because I know I had a client recently a few months ago who started off on the green tea and turmeric tea and it was basically for his prostate health and helped him so much because he had a fear. He actually thought, he's much older, he actually thought that um, he might have prostate cancer. So it was something that was giving him a lot of fear. But yeah, when it, when it comes to your health, you need to do the things that, you know, incrementally are going to improve your, your, your health and your health, well-being yeah. the natural way. Mm -hmm. Yeah as we are winding up yeah this is a notebook yes this is okay so i had brought a notebook because i always like to jot down mm -hmm. um, anything that uh, we discuss mm -hmm. but at the same time i also like to um whenever i show up for anything where i'm talking about health wellness or the platform in itself um i just i like to make sure that whoever comes into contact with 
our platform or with me feels like they are um, a better human being yeah. basically and and when that happens i i take I take in whether they'll do it in message, whether, whether they'll write it down as a testimonial. Because for me, I live on that. I live on just the fact that someone else has, has felt something has benefited them has through our platform. Has felt your impact. Yes, yeah. through our platform. And mm -hmm. so that's the reason why, you know, I, I keep on doing it every day. Mm -hmm. If I open it, you'll see names of people yeah. and stuff like that. But it's because it's very important and to me. It has your... Yes, it has my logo. yes, my logo. Yes, Wellness Ke, which mm -hmm. I love so much. Yeah. When I started, actually, it was it was just an idea, um, and it was something that I felt passionately. I really wanted for it to come to fruition. But the thing is that now I've understood that whenever you want to do something, visualize it. I had I I had I had it in my mind mm -hmm. what I wanted to look like, yeah. what I wanted to to feel like mm -hmm. when someone comes into contact with our platform. And so for that reason, I'm I'm grateful and I'm thankful. And this is actually not my first time to come to KUTV. I, yeah. I always show up whenever I'm invited mm -hmm. because I always feel really good when I come here. It's always a good vibe. And I, I came here, I remember after I had my surgery, it was a while back. And every time I come and I, I meet somebody new, um, in my mind, I'm always like, I know I may either find you next time or you'll be somewhere else on a different level. Yeah. And that has happened many times. I've, I've actually met some, some of your really good anchors. And then the next time I see them on a different TV station, I'm like, oh, yeah, my prayer was answered. Because I know this is one of the best places that has always just supported my platform. So I'm oh. grateful. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. <laughs> again and again, we would like to Thank have you here. You. Thank well, you. I, I, I tap onto that blessing and I tap onto Yay. that. And I do finding me in a bigger, <laughs> yes. and better place. Yes. Um, as we move forward, where can we get your products? Oh, yes. You can actually get the products on Wellness KE. Mm -hmm. So on Instagram, it's at well underscore SK. KE and on Facebook it's Wellness KE on Twitter at KE Wellness and also on YouTube you can actually get all our information on YouTube Wellness KE and if you want the products just send us a message there are always links there you can be able to um, ask for you know advice because even as you request for the product I always advocate and I advise you how to use it, how it's going to benefit you, and I guide you. And we've partnered with different um, companies that actually offer us delivery, and it's free delivery. We mm -hmm. make sure that you get the product where you are, and we also deliver countrywide. Soon we'll deliver, you know, worldwide. Worldwide, so, yeah. yes. <laughs> right before we wind up, yeah. you also do yoga. I do, and I do a lot of yoga. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because I struggled with my um, with back issues. Mm -hmm. After my surgery, I actually uh, discovered that I started having really serious back issues because my lower spine was giving me a lot of issues. So before I had trained in martial arts, I was really good at martial arts. I was training in boxing. I was very much into sports. But then after I had my surgery, um, my body was never the same. So the pace at which I was moving and things like that were never the same. So I adopted a lifestyle of yoga because I felt like it was kinder to my body. Every time I do a workout, my spine aligns. I feel really good. So I wanted something that I won't need to jump and kick and all that, yeah. but I'll still be able to maintain physical fitness. Mm -hmm. And so yoga does that for me. And soon enough, I'm actually going to post more videos because um, I want to post more videos of us, of myself doing the yoga practices mm -hmm. that are going to be helpful to us women. Yeah. Because, you know, extreme workouts are also not that good for us women because they really um, push our hormones and mm -hmm. set them, you know, and they set um, the hormones, the hormones go crazy. So you need something that's going to be good enough, but still balances you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much. Um, Thank you. We really do appreciate Thank having you. you. For me, it's a privilege Aww. to have hosted you on my oh, show. I'm happy to uh, be here. Maybe take us through your social media one more time. Yes, no problem. So our social media platform um, on Instagram, it's at well underscore SKE. And then on Twitter, it's at KE Wellness. On Facebook, Wellness KE. We also have YouTube videos, Wellness KE. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, comment, and tell us what you'd like to learn about. And if you'd like to order for the products, don't forget, you can go onto our social media platforms, send us a message, and we'll be able to guide you on how you can be able to use the products. And don't forget, do something today that your future self will thank you for. You'll be happy you did. Wow. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank, thank you, thank Nina. You so very, very much. I'm so privileged. I'm so... I am having a moment here. Yay. I'm really grateful. I'm, I'm really, really looking Thank forward to having you. you again and again. 